Harvey Dent two face characterization in the movie. This is a section on that. I thought it was excellent personally. I mean, I don't really have much to say. Yeah, I mean, Eckhart did the job. He did a very great, a very good Harvey Dent. His two face was good, even though we didn't see it that much. On that, but we'll talk about the two face yeah, yeah, aspect yeah. later. But I mean, the like, yeah, I mean, like, let's. I thought it was very before good. we get to two face, like, I mean, let's go. To, I mean, Harvey Dent. Yeah, Eckhart. I mean, he actually impressed me. He actually did it more than I expected of him because. I watched um, what's it called? Thank you for smoking, which was yeah, yeah, he was pretty. Thank pretty, you pretty, for not smoking. No, it's thank you for smoking. I know, but the signs are thank you for not smoking. Yeah, I watched him in thank you for 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 smoking, and yeah, he was he was was pretty good in that. But um, but I just thought okay, this is echoes. I didn't really think that okay, but he brought an interesting edge to the Harvey Dent's character. Like you know, he actually impressed me more, and like he's the dynamic between him and Gordon. <laughs> Between him and Batman, and also him and Bruce Wayne, and the chemistry that he had with um, Mag Gyllenhaal was, you know, Maggie, and also Ma- Maggie, Maggie yeah, good job as well. That's sexist. Why, why haven't we talked about Maggie yet? Okay, we're, we're talking we're, about we're, her we're, here. We're, we're, we're. Maggie did a good job. Maggie Gyllenhaal did a good job. Very good acting. Very good job. She, she made should have me been in part care one. About, about, about she the should have job. been in part one. She was good and felt very bad when. To when be honest, I already good. knew that she was good anyway, so it wasn't really a shock that she did okay. So I mean, it was, I was like, oh my god, she did. But I didn't no, 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 obviously no, no. I mean, but like, I'm saying, like, I mean, I was when she got blown away, I was like, damn, you know, that's I was like, damn, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Kate's home. Yeah, Kate's home. Kate home. Kate's Cruz. Kate's cats. Tom Cat. Tom Tom Cat. Kate Hot. Kate's cats. Tom Cat. Two Face side was it was to me. People have said it's too extreme. The Two Face. I think it needed to be that extreme because it was horrific. <laughs> And it was hard to look at. Kids and I can't, think I, can't, can't, can't watch that. Yes, and I think it is good because it was tough to look at. I think, and I think if people you don't have like, spoken to that, said that man, that's too like they, it gets it gives you a reaction. That it was it like gives you a reaction throughout the whole film. I was looking at that thing. Said, Let is me this t- too much? Is it not? What is this? Let me tell you what, what I loved. I already told you guys that my favorite, um, one of my favorite villains is Two Face. Two Face. So in for me, I'm a guy that the way Two Face looks is burned into my brain, like. Because that's one of my favorite guys. And they got, like, you see the way that some people do Two Face, whereby his, his mouth is just messed up, like the stupid Schumacher one. <laughs> they're they, they half, they half messed up. Side. They got the thing where his mouth is, like, wide, you know? So it's, it's like normal. The comics. Yes, exactly. It's, it's exact. And you know, his eye in the comic is just big on one yeah. side. And this thing looked like the comic. The comic, and the reason why people say it's too extreme is that, listen, it's a comic. They have to exaggerate in comics. So to take that to the reality is like, okay, would it? Fine. But to be honest, it's like they, it wasn't exactly like the comic. It's like they made it real, but it had enough. Yes, exactly. It had enough. So that image is so important to me. The fact that the side that is messed up, his teeth are showing always. It's always showing. It's just wide open. That, I mean, look, man, I'm up. You know what? Just to see what Eckhart Two-Face is going to do in part three. I'm in because tr- Two Face is my main guy. Like not even Joker, Two Face is my guy. So I'm, I'm I, like, I really need to see that. The two, I, I was like, for me, one of actually the best scenes in the whole film for me was that end scene when he really when he saw Two Face threatening Gordon's kids. Because like I said, oh man, it's like this guy has gone mad. And the key thing about Two Face, why I saw just because like we saw his heavy dent. And, and this was, was a bad the, fall, man. And the fall to just this madman with like a gun. I thought it was too extreme. You know, um, what about the the happy dance if you don't have a dent? Well, you know what? It's like when I heard our echo was going to have a dent, I said, Why is this guy doing it? The fact is, this guy's a good actor. I mean, he can act, he and, can act, yes. And it's like you, you watch you watch it, and the dude, I mean, he did he did a good job, that was very good, you know, I very mean, he, good. He, 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 he did a good job, and no one can take that away from him. Um, it's like, I mean, if you ask me again that having seen that, would I cast him? I'd still say no. Um, but that doesn't take away the fact that he's a good job. I, I, I keep saying, guys, I have my view of what Batman should be. So we'll put that on the side. Two-Face, too extreme. It's too much. And that's my opinion. It's too, it's, I mean, to be it's honest, based, based, on like, what, based on what, as in? It's bad. As in, is it just too extreme, as in? It's just too extreme. It's like, if he... I heard that this... There was a time when I was on the internet and I saw an image of Two Face by mistake. I, 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 I saw the image and it looked just like that. By mistake, that. and Into. it looked like this. And I, I, and I remember thinking that, oh, it's fine because there's no way in hell that's what they're going to do in this film. 
But then Anaka was going around on he's doing his rounds on the internet going, Oh guys, you have no idea how extreme Chris Nunn is gonna go on this. You have no idea. That's what Anaka was saying. When I watched this thing, I was like It was pretty scary. Hat Hope told me that, oh, um, they're using CGI and I said, There's no way they can use CGI for two faces face because for you to see that, he'd have to look like Spawn. And the guy looks like Spawn. It's, for my opinion, this thing is too extreme. And when you make something too extreme, ladies and gentlemen, you create a very specific compartment of emotion for the audience. That's my last statement for that. It's, it's um, I mean, yeah, I think with the... Two faced thing. It's like I mean, like I, that's why I mean, like I mean, I've only seen this thing once, and I still need to see it again. I, like I think it's just one of those things. Like for the whole film, I just kept looking, like, what do I really feel about this thing? Like, because I just heard, like, man, this it's got a reaction out of me. Like, like, man, this thing, he looks messed up. But I think it's like, is it too much, or maybe it's not. And like, and I think, like you know, looking about what the whole the whole two faced thing, and with the whole psychology, and I like, mean, look at what Joker looks like, and how. Batman was represented in some scenes in Begins is like, you know, everybody in this in this town is damn scary. Everybody in this town town is a is a freak. You know, and everybody has to come with their freakish nature. And like when you look at Joker, like he is freakish in a particular kind of way. In in Begins, Batman was freakish in a particular kind of way. And for Two Face, you know, this guy, he's a freak and he's good, he's freakish in that particular kind of way. You and know, you know what is so funny about what you're so, saying? Look at the levels though. What do, you, what do you mean by, by, by the levels? Batman, I don't consider freakish. No, that's no, like no, it's like in elements of in in, in, in begins. begins. No, that is what the problem is. Like Joker's um, Two Face is even worse than Joker. I can barely look at Two Face's image. It's terrible. So if Batman's gonna like the problem that they have is that they've neglected the one character that 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 needed to be the most ominous of all of them. Batman comes on the scene. You should be like, whoa. Even if you're you're supporting him, they've Two Face is it looks terrible. And think like we've said, they've characterized Two Face so much that we've seen Harvey Dent. Lord knows how deep his insanity is going to be in an actual film centered around his own insanity. Mm. Batman cannot. The Batman I've seen so far can't compare to that because everything seems pales in comparison to the kind of fall that we've seen with Two-Face and we've seen and the kind of insanity we've seen with Joker. That's where I'm coming from with the thing that Batman, honestly, I think has actually suffered because of the amount of detail mm. and respect that has been at same. Which is, Joker you know what, to be, and you know what, for me, nothing is perfect in this world. That segment I had with Half Hope, is what you're talking is that the only man that has made Batman suffer is Bill. I told you that Chris Nolan and Bale are pals. There's no way that Bale is going to sit down in a room having dinner and lunch with a guy for six months where he feels he's not getting enough time. Batman, the guy who had the biggest screen time with this thing is Christian Bale. Batman had... Forget about, oh, forget about Batman, whatever yeah. they call it. The biggest screen time, and this guy had lines. This guy spent the whole thing philosophizing about the ethics of being a vigilante. This guy... The, 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 the thing bloody ended with him being making a magnanimous gesture. Bale had ample amounts of stuff to do stuff with. And I'm saying the guy blew it. I mean, no, uh, I, I wouldn't go that far, so. mate. I, um, so. was, I mean, I just think that, like, the, the way the, the thing was structured, there was so much stuff happening that really, like, there was no... I mean, I mean like, I said, like, it doesn't detract from the film, but it was just based on the decision that there wasn't really one clear focus. You know, because he had the Harvey Dent's arc, he had the Joker arc, he had the, the Mob arc, he had the Bruce Wayne arc, he had the Batman arc. I have Harvey Dent's section, though. You know, but just, and I'm just thinking about the whole... So, yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah, so really, I mean, going back to the Harvey Dent's Two-Face thing, I mean, yeah, the Two-Face character is definitely very interesting. It's a very, very interesting character, you know, because it's a totally different character from the um, Joker, because, this, because, yeah, because it's a different villain from, um, for Batman to face than the other one, because this is a villain that Batman has a personal history with so yeah. no 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 it's it's, def it's they're definitely very good and I, I was impressed with it um but yeah two-face all right